I know Sage for quite a while, um, trying to uh, to feed him as much as information as I could even in the past. I, I think he's a, a bright star and he has a, a bright future ahead of him. He has a great sponsor with Michael Fuchs and the Comfort Revolution people that I trust him all along and that's you know that's extremely important when you're that young because uh, nowadays that matters a lot and then you know you can tell how Chip got his eyes on him and Chip's actually usually always right about those things and uh, it's nice to be actually doing this race with him and, and I'm excited obviously I'm a, I'm a newbie in the team as well so we're both we're both rookies at the time but uh, you know uh, I think Sage had a, has a great opportunity here. Sage, you're used to racing with uh, folks in and around your age. What's it like being around just the craziest collection of bastards? All good bastards, but a, a mildly diverse group. What's it like? Oh, it's uh, it's it's definitely new for me. I, I already walk in the trailer first thing yesterday for the first time, and Tony's already busting on me, already playing jokes on me and stuff. So that's part of being the. Tell rookie, us about I guess. that, Tony. Well, he comes in, put his suits on, and just goes straight to the car, and now saying hi to. Us, so that's that's not allowed. You gotta say good morning to the old guys first, and ask permission to sit in our car. So. You know, like in football, they make the rookies bring donuts and that kind of stuff. What what, what are you lining up? But there are a few days left Thank in this you. test. Great idea. So well, this morning we already made him show up at the racetrack at six forty-five, <laughs> and we are at, we showed up at eight. So I think that's <laughs> tomorrow. Some donuts will be good. Oh yeah, and coffee. <laughs> Tell me about uh, the race itself. Obviously, new engine. There's still some, you know, some learning going on here, but uh, certainly a lot of talent, a lot of success for you guys. Uh, Tony, you've got a nice watch line already, but you think uh, a Rolex watch is in the realm of possibilities? Well, I think you know when you're going to talk about the Rolex watch, you're talking as a trophy, you know, and and, and you know, like you said, there has, has been a lot of changes on the Chip Ganassi organization as far as equipment, and I think Chip, seeing that. With you know, with the new Ford EcoBoost engine that he needs, you know, it's still in development, and and he got the strong lined up. So with a lot of people with a lot of experience, especially on a turbo engine, so we can develop that. And then I think that is not a better place to develop that in a 24-hour race uh, with the lined up he has. So I would say the lined up it's extremely strong. The equipment, we're still as every team right now. You know, everything is so new. The rules are new. We don't even know if this is what's going to be when we come back. So right now it's open up and, and it's actually, I think, an advantage for the experienced guys to, to give some feedback and, and, and help the team to, to be able to win again. Last question, Tony. We know what you're doing next yep. this year. This year, I get saying that in IndyCar. Sage, uh, when are we going to hear some news about you? There are a lot of people that want to see uh, you giving this old fart a run for his money, <laughs> for sure. Uh, well, I mean, it's, uh, you know, IndyCar is definitely really tough right now. Um, you know, it's, the economy is real, real hard to find money and sponsorship. And that's just the, the biggest thing is just finding the dollars to go run a full season. But, um, you know, I mean, we, we've talked to, I think, almost every team on the grid. So um, hopefully we'll, we have something going for full season. I'm not sure on that quite yet. But um, right now, you know, we just got 2014 started with uh, the Rolex 24 here with Chip Ganassi. And, I mean, that's... That's news. Uh, I mean, that's like news of my life right there. <laughs> Just driving for Ganassi in the 24-hour Daytona. I can't. I can't wait for that. So, um, yeah. Hopefully, we can just keep that going.